Hello everyone, today's lesson is Investigation 7, the Coordinate Plane. Now a coordinate plane is what we get when we draw two number lines that are perpendicular to each other and extend the unit marks to create this grid. Okay. The, number where, the place where the two number lines intersect is called the origin and it's at 0, 0. The horizontal line we call the x-axis, and the vertical line we call the y-axis. Now we make, we graph a point by mark, marking dots at different spots on the coordinate plane. Okay. When we read where this spot is, we read it in coordinates like this. This is called an ordered pair. And it tells us where to go. The first number is how many units we move over on the X, and the second number tells us how many we move over on the Y. So to get to this point, I would go over three places to the right. One, two, three. And up two places. One, two. Okay. To get to the point on this side, I would go negative 3 means to the left. So I would start at the origin and go three places to the left. 1, 2, 3, and then up 2, 1, 2. Okay. To get to this bottom one, I would go three places to the left, negative 3. So 1, 2, 3, and then down 2, 1, 2. Okay. And this other one is three places to the right. 1, 2, 3, and then down 2, 1, 2. So we need to write down where these places are located. So first of all, where is point A? Well, I start at the origin, and I count over on the X first. 1, 2, 3. And then, so that's the X is 3, and then I'm going to go up 1 to get to the A. So it's going to be 3, 1. Okay, now this time I'm going to say a coordinate. So which point has the coordinates of negative 1, 3? So I'm going to start again at the origin and go negative 1, so one place to the left, 3. Well, since it's a positive number, I'm going to go up. 1, so this is negative 1, 3 is what I'm looking for. So one place to the left, and then one, two, three. So C is at the point negative one, three. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Then we're going to do the points of E. So E here, we start at the origin. And to get to E, we travel on the X first. So one, two, three. So that's going to be negative three. And then we go down 1, negative 3, negative 1. Okay. Now, on this one, I'm going to go ahead and graph this and see what I get. So the vertices of our rectangle are located at these places. Now, on a blank graph, just know that each of the lines is going to be one place. So that's 1, 2, 3. If it helps, you can label them like this, one, two, three, four, negative one, or you can just count. It just kind of depends on what you prefer. Since these numbers are really small, I'm just going to count it. So the first one is negative one, negative two, negative one. So I'm going to go over negative two, one, two, down one. And there's my first point. The next one is two, negative one. So we're going to go to start at the origin, go to the right, 1, 2, and then down, negative 1. Okay, my third one is 2, 3. So I'm going to start at the origin, go over 1, 2, and then up 3. 1, 2, 3. And then negative 2, 3, starting at the origin, 1, 2 to the left, because it's negative, up 3. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to collect those dots, which gives me this rectangle. Now it wants to know the perimeter of the rectangle. 
To find the perimeter, I'm going to start at one of the dots here and count the length and width. So we have one, two, three, four. So the width is four, and then we're going to count, go ahead and count the length, starting here. One, two, three, four. Okay. So the perimeter is going to be four plus four plus four plus four, or four times four, which is 16. Now, since this isn't in inches, we just label it units, 16 units. Now we need to find the area. Well, area is length times width, so 4 times 4 is 16. Alright. Okay. Now, since all the sides are the same, we know that this rectangle is really a square. Okay. So here I have three vertices of a rectangle are located at these places wants me to graph the rectangle and figure out the fourth vertex. Okay, so first I need to graph them. So we have three, one. So starting at the vertex, we go over to the right, three, one, two, three, up, one. Okay, negative two, one. So this is negative, we go to the left, one, two, then up, one. Negative two, negative three. We go to the left, one, two, down three. One, two, three. Okay, so that's the first three points. And it wants me to find the fourth point. Since this is a rectangle, that means my point has to be the same distance away as from here to here. So I'm going to look, this one is one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five units away. So that means that my other dot has to be five units away from this one. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and extend my line. And we can see this is a rectangle. So when you find the perimeter, we do that by counting one, two, three, four units, and one, two, three, four, five units. So the perimeter is going to be 5 plus 5 is just 10, plus 4 is 14, plus 4 is 18 units. And then the area is length times width, so 5 times 4 is 20. And that is how you use a coordinate plane. Thanks for watching.